Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Here are today's top headlines. Alfa Romeo is in big trouble. Toyota gets hit with another massive recall and Ford's effort to sell Volvo, not going so well. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Friday, January 22nd, 2010, and now the news. Alfa Romeo is in trouble, big trouble. The Wall Street Journal reports that Fiat CEO Sergio Marchionne says this is going to be the make it or break it year for the brand, and he's hinted at freezing all product development because Alfa just keeps losing money. He also just named the new CEO to run the brand, Harold Wester, 51 years old, who also runs the Maserati and Abarth brands and is the chief technology officer of Fiat. In a sign of how Sergio Marchionne does not waste time over executives who do not deliver results, Mr. Wester is the fifth CEO of Alfa Romeo since 2004. And sticking with Fiat for the moment, Bloomberg says that Alfredo Altavilla will most likely succeed Marchionne as CEO of Fiat. He runs the powertrain division at Fiat and is also on the board of directors at Chrysler, the only other Fiat executive there besides Marchionne. Interestingly, in its grueling eight-hour press conference last fall, the one that I call the Bataan Death March, Altavilla was never introduced to the media, the analysts, or the supplier community. Bloomberg says Marchionne will probably stay on as CEO of Chrysler at least until it does an IPO maybe next year. Late last year, Ford announced a preliminary agreement to sell Volvo to Geely, but apparently those talks are not going as well as we thought. According to Gascu, the main hurdle between the two sides is over control of Volvo's intellectual property rights. Geely wants to get them all, and Ford doesn't want to give everything away. The new report suggests both sides announced a preliminary agreement months ago because they wanted to make it look like they were making progress. A new study says that the most growth for the auto industry lies in the so-called BRIC nations, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. No shock there, really. But according to the Detroit Free Press, of the 50 automakers and suppliers it studied, only four were considered well-positioned in each one of those countries. For automakers, it's General Motors and Volkswagen, and for suppliers, it's Bosch and Delphi. Hey, if you don't like that smiley front end on the new Mazda 3, you are going to hate the new Mazda 5. The company has refreshed its MPV, giving it the same flame-surfaced look as other models in its lineup. Most pronounced are the swooping lines that run along the side of the body. They bring to mind Japanese calligraphy. But there's more to this update than just new styling. CO2 emissions are down 15% thanks to iStop, the system that automatically shuts off the engine when the vehicle comes to a stop. Hey, you hear that? It's time for a Recall Roundup! When automakers screw up or NHTSA just wants to cause problems, Recall Roundup spreads the word. And alrighty, first up, we got Toyota. Yesterday, the company announced that it's voluntarily recalling 2.3 million vehicles to correct sticking accelerator pedals. This action is separate from the ongoing 4.2 million Toyota and Lexus vehicles called back for pedal entrapment. Next, Ford's looking into pickups built between 2004 and 2006 for a potential airbag issue. Up to 1.6 million trucks could be affected by a defect that causes the airbags to go off without warning. The company believes the trouble could be caused by an electrical short. And finally, Chrysler's in hot water over brake rod clips on certain 2009 and 2010 models, the brake rod could separate from the pedal assembly, resulting in what they're calling stopping problems. And that has been Recall Roundup. Coming up next, Ford's Jim Farley talks about how customers like the new Transit Connect as much as they like Mustangs.
Joining me on this week's episode of AutoLine is Jim Farley, Ford's Group Vice President of Global Marketing and the President of Canada, Mexico, and South America for Ford. In the following bite, he talks about the Transit Connect and how it's really resonating with buyers. You know, the good thing about our business is it's not always about focus groups and clinics. No. Sometimes you have to use your judgment. You bet. And uh, the creativity of our engineers and looking at something that works somewhere else and bringing it here at the right time. You know, maybe three years ago it wouldn't have worked. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, it's so far the reaction has been very, very positive. And I, and I measure the reaction not just on our sales, but what, how, the people, how the people think about when they buy TransConnect and what do they say to their neighbors. And I would say Transit Connect is as cool for the people who own it as Mustang is. You know, they're, they're really telling, the, they're advocates for the product. As always, you can catch the rest of this interview on our website, AutolineDetroit.tv. And do not forget to mark your calendar for January 26th, when we'll be webcasting live from the Washington, D.C. Auto Show. We'll be talking to the people in D.C. to learn how Washington will be dealing with the auto industry. That's January 26, Tuesday from 12.30 to 2.30 Eastern Time. And as I mentioned yesterday, we have free tickets to the Washington show that we'd love to hand out. We've already received quite a few requests from you, and we'll be mailing out those tickets today. But we got more tickets if you're interested. Okay, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It is time to answer this week's trivia question. We asked you to identify who was the aerodynamicist from the 1930s that discovered if you cut off a long streamlined tail on a car, it actually reduces drag. And the correct answer is, it is Wunnebald Kamm. As always, we randomly selected this week's winner from the pool of correct responses, and the winner is Conrad Zumhagen of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Congratulations, Conrad. You just won this AutoLine Detroit coffee mug. And that is it for today's top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.